In this paper, we first compute the probability that the agent achieves the goal given a language description and the current state. This is done by applying softmax over the cosine similarity between the state embedding and the language description embedding across a set of potential goals. We use the CLIP model to compute the cosine similarity between the embedding of the state and the embedding of the language description for each potential goal in the task set. We then apply softmax with a temperature parameter to obtain the probability that the agent achieves the goal given the language description and the state. Next, we convert the probability into a binary reward by thresholding it with a hyperparameter value. We convert the probability into a binary reward by comparing it to a hyperparameter value. If the probability is greater than the threshold, the reward is set to 1, indicating that the goal has been achieved. Otherwise, the reward is set to 0. To ensure consistent rewards during RL training, we sample negative examples uniformly from the task set and use them as fixed negatives throughout the training process. This helps avoid stochastic rewards and provides a stable training signal. We then use the reward model in a partial observed Markov decision process, POMDP, setting. In this setting, the agent receives observations, takes actions, observes the next state, and receives rewards. The episode terminates either on timeout or when the goal has been achieved according to the intrinsic VLM reward function. The reward model, which consists of the image encoder and text encoder, is used in a POMDP setting. The agent receives observations, takes actions, observes the next state according to the environment dynamics, and receives a reward based on the intrinsic VLM reward function. The episode terminates either when a timeout occurs or when the reward indicates that the goal has been achieved. It is important to note that we assume no access to the ground truth reward during training and only use it for evaluation purposes.